In this first session, we will have a look at the very basics on how the user interface works. This tutorial applies to all fluidic modeling software, water, heat, sewer, and store. Let's get started. Starting from the very top, you can find the basic menus. Under file, you can obviously open and save files, but also find import and export tools. Edit menu has some tools for selecting components in addition to classic edit tools. Most users use these tools via their keyboard shortcuts. Under model, you can find all the model's various components as tables. Simulation is used to run simulations and access simulation reports. Various tools can be found under tools menu. Window is used to manage software windows. We'll be looking at this in a minute. And finally, there's a help menu. Below these menus, you can first find some general buttons such as undo and redo and some map tools. Next to these are tools for manually adding any components to the model. This selection naturally varies between the different softwares. Please note that in many cases you will be importing your components from external sources and thus not adding them manually with these tools. You can also find the time bar here. This is where you define the current time step of the model. However, most of the time user visualizes statistical values, for example minimums, maximums or averages, or looks at the results as time series. And in these cases, the time defined here makes no difference. Next, we'll talk about different windows. This is where the user operates most of the time, and this part of the UI is highly customizable. There are three main windows that are practically always open. Model browser, map view, and properties. Let's first look at model browser. Drawing states are used to control how components are visualized in the map view. Different drawing states also have a specific set of background maps active, which are managed from the next menu. Next in line are scenarios that is, different versions or situations of the model. Game Manager refers to digital elevation models, most commonly used for ground elevation. Schematics are customizable result dashboards a very powerful and flexible tool for analyzing and reporting. Finally, customized Python code can be added here. Map view window. This shows your model on a map. Moving around the map view is easy with the middle mouse button and zooming with mouse roll. Note how the model moves around instantly and then the background maps are visualized as they are loaded. Properties window allows you to see and edit properties. That is for a single or multiple components at once. These components can even be of different types. In this case, only the common properties that they share are shown. On the very top is a drop-down menu that can be used to filter the selection based on component type. It is worth noting that the properties window does not only work on the physical components of the model, but for pretty much anything in the software that have some properties to edit. For example, drawing states and its visualizers background maps, 
scenarios, and so on. Especially worth mentioning is the very top of the model tree. By clicking here, you are able to access the model's general global properties. This is where you can edit, for example, coordinate system of the model, simulation time settings, calculational parameters, and so on. These three main windows are in practice always open, but their position and size can be customized. But let's look at how windows are managed with some other example windows. New windows can be opened from the window menu. The most common additional windows are results. These are used to present modeling results as graphs. Results tray. These are used to present modeling results as numbers. And profile views. These are used to present results from sideway profiles. All the windows are managed in the same way, so let's just use a result window as our example. New windows open to the central view as a separate tab. Window around to a new location simply by dragging it with your mouse. The orange highlighting shows where the window will settle if you let go. This can either be a new location, like this below the properties window, or it can be as a separate tab to an already open window, like this. Resizing can be done simply by dragging the edges of the windows. More options can be opened with a right mouse click on the title of the window. The most important function found here is float, which will allow you to pop up the window and take it to another monitor. Another functionality on the title of the window is a double click. This makes it full screen. Here worth mentioning are a few more customizable features of the software. These can be accessed via the Tools menu under Options. First of all, here you can manage keyboard shortcuts. Second tip is to customize your tooltip. So that is what is shown on the map view when you hold your cursor above a component for a few seconds. And final tip here is to change the look and feel of the software. This is just the visual appearance of the windows and menus. Try them out and find out what is most visually appealing to you. All this customization handled in this video are user specific. This is different from most other changes, which are made to the model files themselves and thus are model specific. That's all for this first session on the user interface. In the next video, we will have a bit more detailed look at how these windows presented here can be used, as well as some other general tools and settings. See you there!